What is up guys, it's Matthew here with MJK Gaming and this is an updated tutorial on how to make um pretty decent thumbnails with Pixlr Editor. Um I'm also doing a thing for like Xbox YouTubers who play Rocket League. I make one thumbnail, the fee is one painted uncommon, or we can negotiate something for multiple thumbnails, stuff like that. Uh but in this video I'm gonna be making the thumbnail for this video. So, alright, so I want a gray background, so I'm going to go to new image, go to width, width is 1280 and 720 for a YouTube thumbnail, and transparent is optional, it doesn't really make a difference. Alright, let's say I want this gray, so you go over here, I already have it gray, but you would click on this, change it to gray, let's go for that gray, and then you just do that though it's pretty simple let's say I want a call of duty character All right, let's say I want a call of duty character sorry if you can hear me typing on my keyboard um, you always want them transparent so then you don't have to trim out the background I don't care if I spell character transparent wrong All right, let's say I want this one this one if it alright this one has transparent background it's got the squares in the back which means it's transparent so there's no background Alright, so let's save this. Photo editor, open image. Then you open the picture you want. This is what size it'll be on this. Say I want a bigger one, because I don't like the size of it. Go to image, image size. Usually I just put it up to an even number, so I'll go 400. Um, and then you just do this. And then from there, you guys can see my mouse. You go over to layer 0, drag it and drop it so now it's over here like this and let's say I wanna flip them around go to image um, flip that way so now he's facing this way let's say I want him upside down on the roof now he's on the roof like spider-man well let's go ahead and put him back 90 degrees 180 degrees you guys should know stuff like that but let's go ahead and get into the text Alright, so I always use max size. Okay, let's change color to this. Let's go for a green, a blue with the green glow outline. Oh, yeah, also, um, let's go ahead and add a new layer. Not, not a crap. Oops. Alright, if you want to also, if you want to go back a step over here where it says history, you just click on the one before and it'll go away. So let's add, where is the add layer? New layer. Also, I can put an outline on this guy if I want to. Let's say I want to put um, black, not black, let's go for like a bright blue outline on him. Go to layer, layer styles, um, a drop shadow. That's just how much shadow is on him. Stuff like that. Um, so yeah, inner shadow is a shadow like on the inside of them to make it look more realistic. Let's go ahead and do like that. Um, size, we'll go for 9. Bevel is just like another, it's like instead of an inner shadow, it's a like a light facing toward them. So outer glow, hardness, I usually have all the way. Unless you want it to look like a neon glow. Alright, size, we'll go for a 10. And then we just change this to about that. And now he has a glow around him. Or you can change the hardness so it looks like a glow glow. Kind of like that. And then opacity. It's about there. Like that. Okay, so let's keep that. Alright, now let's do the text. Where let's alright, so usually you have the size all the way up. Then you pick your fonts. I always use bold just because I like it more. Alright, let's do this. Pick slur, or let's just do thumbnail tutorial. Thumb, nail, and then you can change this to whatever you want. Um, let's go for this one. Thumbnail, tutorial. Then you just do that, and then bold. And then, alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how to put, like, 
an outside glow on them. Go to layer. Again, layer styles. Uh, I always do a drop shadow because it makes it look more realistic. And I always keep it what it usually is. Then an outer glow. I usually do about that. Hardness all the way up. Like that. Alright. And then let's go for like a lime green. Alright, like that. See, that doesn't look that bad. Wait, what is the... 44FF00. So that's what I need to remember. And then you just click on the thumbnail one. Flare. Flare styles. Drop shadow. Outer glow. 44FF00. 44FF00. There we go. Have the same color. Hardness all the way. And then this one, like, 10 or something? I don't really remember. But it doesn't have to be exact. You just click OK. Alright, now let's put in, like, a giant mouse. Like, the one on my screen that you're looking at. Alright, let's do, um, computer mouse transparent. Yeah, like this. Oh, that's not transparent. Let's see this one. No? Okay. Um. Hmm. We gotta find a transparent one. This one transparent? Yes, it is. Save picture as. Let it load. Save it. Online photo editor. Open image. Okay, there it is. Open it. Alright, so this is a little bit too big, so I'm gonna go to image. Resize. Take it down to about 500. Okay, see that's a better size. Let's drag it over here. Put it about right here. And then to change the color of it without actually having to separately go through it, you can click this wand looking thing, I call it a wand, and then you click on the finger. So now it has the inside of the finger outlined. So let's make that like, let's go for like a sky blue sort of color. Then you just grab your paint bucket. Bam. And now you have a blue one of those. And let's see if this works for the outline. Yep. And then you can just go through. Paint all of that. Yeah, stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and take one step back. Because that looks weird. And you just click this, click somewhere, and it will go away. So I have it like that. Let's say, all right, let's put, um, what should we put? Something that I could rotate and make it look good. Hmm. Um, I guess we could do, like, Call of Duty gun. I don't know why I'm doing Call of Duty so much. Wait, no, let's do a Rocket League car. Rocket League car. Trans. I'm spelling everything wrong. Car transparent. Again, sorry if the microphone sounds bad. It's my computer microphone. Alright, let's see. Let's do Mantis? Sure, why not? Do the Mantis. Wait now. Uh let's do this painted dominus GT. Cause that we can turn and stuff. Oh, it has a weird glow around it. Wait, wait, wait. Um, let's just go for the hot shot. Why not? Save picture. Alright, save it. Photo editor. Open image. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. So obviously this is way too big, so I'm going to have to shrink it down. 300, let's go for 280. Um, a little bit smaller. 250, 255. Alright, that should be about good. Drag it over here. Do it like this. Alright, so then we want to flip horizontal. Oh, crap. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Alright, so let me delete this layer real quick. I messed up. Go back over here. Click on this. Then you click from here. You go to image. Flip horizontal, 
then you drag it over. Alright, let's place this right here. Alright, so let's say I want to tilt this. This works with anything. Just make sure you're on the right layer. So you hit uh, right click. Rasterize layer. Wait, what? Okay, let's try it with this. Why is it not working? Wait a minute, let me see. So you would click rasterize layer, and then you go to edit, free transform. Oh, I guess I already rasterized it. And then you can make it bigger, stuff like that. And then you can turn it all around. So let's make it like that. About right here. A little bit smaller. There we go. And you just click save changes. Alright, let's see if we can change the color on this thing. Oh, that's weird. Let's, let's make the tires a different color. Let's make it weird looking. Alright. Get our magic wand. Okay. So it's going to be a weird looking car. Let's make the tires orange. Okay. Paint bucket. Um. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, this, whoa, what the heck, that looks cool. Alright, let's get our paint bucket. Ba bam Now we got ourselves some wheels that are on fire. Alright, let's do this wheel. And then, uh, oh, okay, the whole grill, we're doing it. Alright. Um, maybe we can only do it in certain spots, I guess. Yeah, alright. That's basically how you use it. That's all the main features. Stuff, Most of the stuff on this side you don't really need to worry about. Um, I'll actually show you what gradient does real quick. So, let's say we want black, but only a tiny, tiny bit. So like that. Then you just go from like here. Oh, wait. Go from about there. Uh, try to go straight down so it looks nice. Then you let go. Whoa. Oh, I did it under the wrong layer. Oops. Alright, let me create a new layer, actually. Um, new layer. Alright. Then you just want to do gradient. Um, color. To gray. Whatever the gray was before. I don't know what the gray was. Drag it. Drag it down, try to keep it straight. Oh, crap. I need to move the layer. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need to bring the layer all the way down. Okay. You just bring the layer, drag it down behind everything, except for the background, because you can't change that. So you do that. Then you do, um, let's go for about, like, right here. They can do that, and you can see you have the black on the bottom. If you want more black, you can go for like that, and then do it. Oh, wait, wait. Let's go for about like halfway. So there you go, and then I have the black at the bottom. And then basically what you want to do is you want to go to File, Save, put it at Max Quality, as long as it's under 2,000 kilobytes, you should be able to use it as thumbnail. Oh yeah, that's a sneak peek at other videos coming out. 360 no scope, that was just something I was making for no reason. But yeah, you can see sneak peek of other ones. Uh, replace it, yes. Alright, now it's saving. Alright, it's saved. Then you just go to your files. You go to wherever you saved it at. Pictures is where I saved mine. Uh, you, I'm just going to click on it to show you guys in full screen. So this, will, this is what it will look like on YouTube videos. So that's what you guys will see before you click on this video. Uh, that's full screen. But yeah, that's basically the basics to making a good thumbnail on Pixlr Editor. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can go use it. Also, uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. 
and I think either today or tomorrow we'll have out that crate opening video and then the day after the Rocket League video, the threes video. So yeah, I'll see you guys later and that's it for the video. Peace.